anamorphic lens for your drone? Let's figure it out. What is going on guys? I'm really happy to see you here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about this anamorphic from company Frivo with uh, anamorphic ND8 and it's for DJI Air second version. DJI Air second one comes with originally their ND filters, 3 ND filters. It's like 16, 64 and 256. I'm usually using 16. I was looking for the same anamorphic one with the 16 ND, but I couldn't find anything. So the only one I found is eight. What is anamorphic? So the anamorphic is like you guys see right here, this is 16 by nine frame, right? With anamorphic, these corners, you're gonna be wider. They're gonna be way wider. So it means that on a drone, it's gonna squeeze the image and then when I'm gonna fly it, I'm not gonna clearly see the image. So it's gonna be like a square image. And then I have to de-squeeze it in my program, DaVinci Resolve, the one that I'm using. When you de-squeeze the image, it's gonna become shorter in here and longer this way. So what it means is like, like a movie style. So with those two black bars on top, it's a movie style lenses but of course movie style lenses they cost hundred two hundred thousand dollars but this is just like a nd that does similar thing it got it gets you that flare the blue flare or gold flare or whatever you want i use this a lot on my iphone 13 mini i have the moment case a moment anamorphic lens i'm gonna record a video about that so subscribe to your channel to see that video in the future what i love about anamorphic is that it gives you that cinematic look like what i mean is like the movie style look i really like the flares on this anamorphic lens specifically on the freeville version because they have ulanzi version and they are too thick like they're this thick so for example for example if you see this light it's glowing right here the line is gonna be like this thick it's not gonna be thin like on this one same thing with my zero e 35 millimeters f 1.8 that thing is an amorphic too and their flares is the same as this flares for example like i said the old lindsay one don't really like it like when you're watching a movie like batman or any spider-man movie anywhere in the dark you get that light in the lens and you get that flare that flare it doesn't block half of your screen it just blocks a little bit that that little line that looks cool cinematic that's the only reason i choose freeho because I looked at a lot of comparison on the internet and they satisfy me more of how they look. Image quality comes out from this is uh, really good. But like I said, the main problem with this is uh, the ND8 is not enough. I need ND16. For example, right now is 3 p.m. And I can't go fly it because everything is going to be overexposed because I can't control the aperture on my drone. And I cannot control in here because this is not variable ND since it's anamorphic with ND. But I can crank up a shutter speed, a lot of people would say that, but I don't want it to be so sharp. I want it to be like with emotion, bro, like how it should be. The build quality of this lens is so good. This thing like made out of metal with glass. And the cool part about it, that behind, you can see how it hooks up to the drone you just have to twist it i didn't know i have to twist this so I, I would try to take it out take it out take it out with my original nd because when i bought the drone i had already nd8 on it nd16 on it and i couldn't take it out so nobody explains how to take it out so i tried to pull it i thought it's like magnets but it's not you have to twist it to the left and then i'll 
loose. The build quality of this is really good and I like how it comes in this package with uh, four spots so you can put for example those 3ND filters that you have from your actual DJI you can put in this box and just carry this instead of carrying two of those but the reason I'm not carrying that is because I have in here another one from Freewheel and it's a ND16 with polarizer right here you guys can see it this is the one that is not mine this two and the one that is on the drone right now they are original ones and that's why I cannot put it here I mean I technically can just take three in here and I have one on the drone always so I'll just carry this but I really like this how slim it is look this is the free will and this is the original I mean come on guys you, you can be this this is doesn't even take any space compared to this this video is not sponsored I'm telling you from my heart if you decide to buy an amorphic ND adapter for your drone don't buy any other companies unless it's free will like I said because I see so many footages I saw guys use the different uh, NDs and this is by far the best one my name is Anatoly Ivashenko thank you for watching this video like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one